Hey everyone, all right, today's video is going to be over tax and tip. Your objective, I will apply percent knowledge to calculate tax and tip. So let's talk about what tax and tip are. A sales tax is a charge on goods that is calculated as a percentage of the purchase price. So I'm sure you have all been somewhere before and purchased something and noticed on your receipt that you were charged a sales tax. So they take a percentage of the amount that you have to pay and they add that on. So you have to pay that tax in addition to whatever you're buying. Now a tip is a percentage of the price of a service that goes to the service worker. So let's say you go to a restaurant. So you'll get your bill and then you would find a certain percentage of that and then you would add on that tip amount to your bill and you would give that tip amount to the server. So maybe um, you've seen someone tip at a restaurant or maybe if you go to a salon or somewhere to get your hair cut you would also tip the person who cut your hair things like that so when we are calculating tax and tip we are still going to use our percent wheel so we have our part our whole and our percent so the part would be the tax or tip amount because you're taking a part of that total bill the whole is going to be the original price so that would be like the original total total and then your percent would be the tax or tip rate. Whenever we calculate tax and tip, obviously if we have any percents, we wanna change them to decimals. If we are finding the tax or tip amount, which means the part is missing, we would multiply the cost by the decimal, so like the percent times the whole. If we're finding the total cost, we are just gonna add the tax or tip amount to the original price to get the total. And we're gonna do some examples together. All right, example one, we're gonna focus on tax. Calculate 8.25% sales tax for a $74 purchase from a grocery store. All right, so we have our percent, so that's the tax rate. Now the $74, that's the original price, so that's the whole. So we are gonna have a percent times a whole. That means that the part is missing and that's the tax or tip amount. So we're gonna change 8.25% to a decimal. So we're gonna paddle to the left twice. That would be 0 0.0825. And we're gonna multiply that times 74. All right, five times four is 20. Two times four is eight plus two is 10. 8 times 4 is 32, plus 1 is 33, and 0 times 4 is 0, plus 3 is 3. We're going to put a placeholder. 5 times 7 is 35, 2 times 7 is 14, plus 3 is 17, 8 times 7 is 56, plus 1 is 57, and 0 times 7 is 0, plus 5 is 5. And then we're just going to add all of this together. Now we have one, two, three, four decimal places here. And we have zero here. So we have to have four in our answer. Now, since we're dealing with money, we want to round to the hundredths place. That would be this place. Since there is a five on the right, we're going to bump the zero up to a one. So tax would be $6.11. So now if we wanted to find the total cost for this purchase, we wanna take the original price, which would be the whole, and then we wanna add the part because that would be the tax amount. So we're gonna take the original price, which was $74, and now we're gonna add that tax, which is $6.11. So with tax, the total cost at this grocery store would be $80.11. All right, example two, we are gonna focus on tip. So calculate a 20% tip for a $48 purchase from a restaurant. So we have our percent, $48, that would be the original cost 
for that meal. So that would be the whole. So since we want to calculate the tip amount, that means the part is missing. So we are going to take the percent times the whole, just like we did in example one. So 20%, we're going to paddle to the left twice and make that 0.20. Now 0.20 is the same thing as 0.2, so I'm going to use that. So we're going to take the whole, $48, and multiply it by our tip rate of 20%, which is 0 0.2. 8 times 2 is 16, carry the 1. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9, and there is one decimal place. So the tip on this meal would be $9.60. So again, keep in mind this is money. So rather than put 9.6, I'm saying that's $9.60. So now we want to find the total cost for this meal. So that means we have to take the original price, which is the whole, and we have to add the part, which is the amount of tip. So originally it cost $48 for the meal. Then we're going to add on the $9.60 tip. So this total meal would cost $57.60. Alright, example three. Alright, now we are going to actually solve for the tax or tip rate. So that means that the percent will be missing. So Lyle went to a restaurant and spent a total of $36 on his meal. If the original cost was $30, what percentage did he tip? Okay, so let's figure out what they have given us in this situation. It says that he spent a total of $36, and that's after the tip. The original cost was $30. So since that's the original cost, that is the whole. Because remember, the total actually comes from the part and the whole combined. So the original cost is your whole, $30. Now, we need to figure out what the tip amount actually was. So if he spent a total of $36, it was originally 30, that means that he tipped $6. So that's the tip amount, so we have our part. Now since the percent is missing, we have to take part divided by whole and that's going to find the percentage that Lyle tipped. So the part would be the tip, which is $6. The whole is the original amount, which is $30. And then don't forget that top dog does go in the house. So we're going to add a decimal and a zero. 30 cannot go into 6, but it goes into 60 two times. And we get a remainder of zero. So we get 0.2, but remember it asks what percentage did he tip. So we are going to have to dip to the right twice. So that means Lyle left a 20% tip. All right, here is your final U try. So make sure that you have recorded all of the U tries from this video into your spiral and make sure that you do get this final U try completed, write it all in your spiral and make sure that you do answer it in the question that comes up in the video. So make sure you've shown all of your work and have your video notes with you so that you can use them in class tomorrow. Have a great day.